Hello everyone, welcome to Excel 10 tutorial. In this advanced Excel tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can highlight a column based on date. Okay, so we're going to write some date in row 1 and we are going to highlight the total column or highlight the whole column if that column has today's date. And we are not going to use VBA, so let's get started. <laughs> This is an empty workbook and let's enter today's date here. Control semicolon. Remember the keyboard shortcut to enter today's date. And if I select it and drag it, let's say these are the dates. And now I want to highlight enter column. That means in cell A1 we have today's date. So I want to highlight column A. And tomorrow I want to highlight column B and it should be dynamic no matter when I open the workbook if a certain column has today's date we're going to highlight it okay so simply select the data range I'm going to select the whole column here and click on conditional formatting click on new rules click on use formula to determine which cells to format and now write this formula if a1 and that is the date cell equal to today if that is today's date cell then true or false then click on format and you can change it according to your need you can format it by different font if a font should be changed according to today's date you can do that you, you can change the border if you want you want to simply give your column a outline not highlight the whole column or not highlight every cell okay but I'm going to highlight it and I'm going to highlight it with this color. And if I click OK and click OK again, you can see today's date column has been highlighted. Now, let's say if today is 7 April and let's change my computer's date and time. Right click here, adjust date and time, change it. And you can see the date has been changed here and the highlighted column has been changed. So I just did that so you can understand how dynamic your formula is and you can use it whenever you need so this is what i wanted to show you thank you thanks for watching see you in the next tutorial and in the next tutorial i'm going to do the same thing but i'm going to do it for the rows okay if you have dates in rows and how you can highlight entire row okay and that's what i'm going to show you thank you thanks for watching if you can please support the channel through patreon and don't forget to subscribe thank you